As you'll be aware, our brother, son, father, nephew, husband and friend was brutally and cold-bloodedly murdered by ISIL after being held hostage since March 2013. In that time, we have been in constant contact with the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, the police and other authorities. We have, as a family, received all the support and cooperation that could, under the circumstances, be given. We can only praise and give our thanks to the agencies that have helped us during our time of need. We agree with the government in that ISIL are extremely dangerous and pose a threat to every nation, every religion, every politics, every person. Radicalisation remains the biggest threat to the wholesale safety of every person in the world. Increasingly, we are seeing more and more radicalisation in every walk of life. It is not a race, religion or political issue. It is a human issue and it is in our everyday lives. I have become aware of a number of verses in the Quran that I, would, that I feel particularly apt at this time, if I may. But since good and evil cannot be equal, repel thou evil with something that is better. The Muslim faith is not to blame for ISIL, nor is it the fault of people of Middle Eastern descent. The attraction of complete control and the use of terror as an implement of population control has a widespread appeal to many disenfranchised throughout society. My family and I agree with the government that we need to identify those travelling to fight with ISIL and on their return to the UK face the consequences of their actions.